Hi, this is Ms. Palomino. Today I'm going to show you how to calculate the mean, the median, the mode, and the range in a simple way. Let's get started. By this process that I'm going to show you and the steps for any data set that you have. Okay, so let's start with measures of central tendency and interquartile range. Let's review what we already know about measures of central tendency. Now, to calculate the mean, you're going to have to find the average of the numbers included in the set of data. The median is the middle number in the data when ordered from least to greatest. You have to remember that for the median, you first have to order from least to greatest before you try and find the median. Number three, the mode. The mode of a set of data is the set of the most common number in the set. So the mode is the number that repeats the most. Sometimes there will be no mode and sometimes there will be multiple modes. The modes must appear more frequently than the other values in the data set or else there's no mode. Number four, the range is the difference between the greatest and the least value in a set of data. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is write the data set. Okay, so let's start with the mean. The way to calculate the mean is with two simple operations. You have to add and you have to divide. So we're going to add the numbers in the data set first. So that will be your step one is adding the three numbers in the data set. Three plus one is four plus two is six. Step two is divide that answer by how many numbers you have. So six divided by one, two, and three. And the answer will be three times two is six. Six minus six is zero. So the answer for this data set, the mean of this data set equals two. Now we're going to talk about the median. Median identified as the number in the middle of the data set. So in this data set, the number in the middle, um, you have to write the numbers on that data set from least to greatest. So step one will be rewrite all numbers from least to greatest. Okay, so I'm gonna write them as one, two, and three. Now I can find the median, which is the number in the middle. So your step two will be find the median. And to start eliminating the numbers uh, outside until I get to the middle. 
So this is a small data set, but when you have a large data set, that's how you're gonna start doing it, like eliminating the numbers until you get in the middle. Uh, so the median for these data set will be two. If you notice, sometimes the mean and the median end up being the same, but not all the time, okay? Okay, so the last thing I wanna say about the median is, that when the number in the data set is odd, like this one, one, two, three, we have three numbers. When the number is odd, it's easy to find the number in the middle. But when the number is even, then you're gonna have to add the two numbers in the middle because if you start eliminating like that, like I show you, you're gonna end up with two numbers in the middle and you will have to find the mean of those two numbers. So what that means is you're gonna have to add the two numbers divided by two. So let's write that down. So if even, then you're gonna take the middle two numbers and find the mean and find the mean let's talk about the mode the mode is the number that repeats the most is more frequent in that data set um, this specific data set let me rewrite it over here and I'm gonna write it um, from least to greatest. So one, two, and three, none of these numbers repeat. So for this specific example, there is no mode. Okay? So let's make a note here. For the mode, sometimes, You're gonna have no mode, one mode, or more than one. Okay? Look at the data set. For the mode, it doesn't matter if it's in order or not. It doesn't matter. All you have to look for the mode is which of the numbers in my list repeats the most? Here, no one repeats, so no mode. But if I had another two, then the answer will be for the mode will be two. It appears more times in the data set. The last thing I want to talk about is the range. The range, you have to difference between the largest and the smallest. So you're going to subtract large number minus the small that will equal the range. So I'm going to write large minus small large number minus a small number okay so three minus one and that equals two the range is two please let me know if you have any other questions regarding mean median mode and range of a data set thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video Bye.